Hello everyone, Attack Power here, bringing you what was likely one of the most exciting ranked games I've had in a very long time. Let's dive right in. Alrighty folks, so here we are on one of my least favorite maps in the game, Gora something or other big river annoying thing. And on the left here in the blue, we have Moreau playing First Blindata Romania Mare on Maverick Income. And on the right, on the red side is myself playing Sixth Corporal Territorial on Balance. So we have a nice Romanian standoff here, although it is still Axis and Allies, which is cool. And this is honestly, I would think, one of the nightmare matchups for Sixth Corporal uh, because they really struggle with early armor. And of course, first one Data has plenty of it. That's kind of what it's all about is pushing early with armor assets and kind of rolling over your opponent. So uh, definitely a matchup I was really nervous about, although this map definitely favors the balanced income, of course. Um, you know, it tends to go a little bit longer. If you can keep your opponent on the other side of the river, things can go quite well for you. Uh, but it is the tougher side of this map because it's very possible for blue to get to this side at the beginning of the game with like a rush sort of thing. And it's very difficult for red to get to the blue side. You can see how deep the river is here and how much deeper into the, you know, into the, the blue side you have to go to actually get to the flags. So it's just really tough for me to get like an early advantage anywhere. The only place you can really cross safely at the beginning is over here and to try to push for this flag but the problem is then there's all this open ground so you can find some more flags so it's just a tough side of the map again once again another map that isn't really all that balanced at the end of the day um but i do like the income matchup here uh having the balanced versus the maverick on this map definitely a good thing um and yeah so the plan whole bunch of guys you know just to fill in defense here and gonna push across i'm actually gonna push all the way across to try to start working my way over here i should be able to beat his infantry in the woods and stuff he does have uh peonity assaults which will be an issue once they start coming in but you know i have my own so it should be fine i also have more cqc than him overall so i should be able to overwhelm just a couple units going to the center town it's not super common to go here i got a breda going here to cut off both well, both uh, bridges here. Uh, the majority of my troops coming in up here. I have a my one of my two Rashids is here coming in here to try to cut off the attack this way, um, along with the Dubla to defend that. And then I have machine guns and everything coming here. Some AT guns, a Breda and an AT gun here coming to. Well, no, it's a Breda. Yeah, it's a Breda and a Pack 38 to try to look. This is a very common place to push. It's very easy to get over the bridge there. And he is uh, going all out to get across the bridge up here. So his, his vector of attack is this northern area here. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to help build the channel and see more Steel Division 2, and consider checking out that Patreon if you really love what you uh, watch here. Thanks a bunch, guys. And here we go. The Schneider AC guns, 47 mils, are quite solid. Uh, against my deck specifically, not really. Uh, they can kill the T-70s, but that's about it. They shouldn't be much of a threat to, like, the T-30, 45s. So Rashid's just still waiting to deploy. I, I deployed a little too far in. It is now opening up. I got these infantry trying to get in here. MG42 deployed, though. That's going to be an issue for my Rashid's here. Uh, and unfortunately, he is getting out of line of sight of my stuff. Do take out one of the AB horses early. Let's see if we can kill the other one. Yep. We do have another one going down, so that's good. But the third one does survive, and that's going to be an issue. Uh, my Rashid's is pinned. Uh, I do have another Pack 38 coming in now to try to, you know get into this to stop more things coming I, I see these things starting to come here so that's going to be a big issue uh down south i do get across just fine with my grande cherry Calati and pianiti and grande cherry Calati here uh so they'll push through they should be able to beat all these things the only thing that's really dangerous is that pianiti assault right there uh and all oh, this is pretty safe so i'm not too concerned about it but the ab horse is coming aggressively my Rashita did die to the the panzer four and stuff here so my dubla is now in danger too I'm trying to get that out of there asap uh, Katarashi getting wrecked here. Trying to get my infantry back out of this open line of sight here. Dubla against the horse. Not great. Losing a Dubla early is going to suck. Katarashi goes down to this Stu 42. And down and lose the Dubla. Pack 38 deploys. Uh, trying not to get too close to that AB horse. Hoping that can take that out quick. Still have APCR on though. And that's unfortunate because I just deployed it. So I don't didn't have time to turn it off. And we do get a loader kill. Not bad. I finally do turn off that APCR now. And should be able to finish that off. Good. So the AB horse is dead, but the problem is all these other things outrange me. The Stu 42 already going after my pack 38. This is going to be the big issue is this unit right here. Everything else is, is fine. We can deal with that. Another Rashidza coming in. This is obviously like my... I only get two of these. I only have two of these in the whole deck. So this is like my desperate, holy crap, things are not going well. Already a 1311 for him capturing this flag. 
Pack 38 still on the run here, staying just out of range of that 242. Looks like I'm gonna lose that here though. My infantry, Pianini versus Venatori Moto. Luckily, I am in range of the grenade. Grenade gets off, and the Venatori Moto gonna take a big hit there uh, and get surrendered. So my infantry will survive here, continue to just be there. Uh, Roshita does get deployed, little out of position at the moment. Does finally turn on here. So let's see if we can pick up any kills with this Roshita. Does get a shot off, lands a hit on the T4, Shechajare, uh, recon. Get an eyeball on the T4 command now. Should be able to finish that off. Ooh, we missed second shot though. Rough. Here comes the Potez trying to stop that AB horse there. Does get the fallback. That's what I needed. P uh, T4 goes down. And now the Rashita going after the Stu 42. This is huge. I need this thing dead desperately. Uh, get a bounce and I get hit and Rashita is immediately pinned of course. Pack 38 just trying to hold off anything going too far. I move forward to try to kill this AB horse. Uh, didn't, he has an IAR coming in. Killed the uh, Pack 38 I had here on this bridge. Breda's still alive though. Uh, down south, I am pushing forward here. Got a T-70 to help me out, Pianiti and Granacetti. So this flag should be able to grab that soon enough and hopefully keep him from a 15-9. Of course, the key here is keeping off the 15-9. Pack 38 goes down to what exactly? Actually, I'm not 100% sure. Probably the MG-42. But I have another one already in. But I am obviously on the ropes already. Uh, 45 mil coming in. Another Dubla because I can't have that IAR just like completely wrecking me. His 20 mil. Just pushing forward with impunity here. I already have the APCR turned off, making sure to turn those off really quickly. At this range, this is not good. The, the 20 mil can likely pin me before I can really do the damage I need to do and kill that thing. Because, of course, it takes two hits to kill it. Let's see. Pack 38 trying to set up. 20 mil gets a burst off. I do get the shot off and kill it. One health left. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Very lucky. Can't deny the luck. Pianity searching for this Venatori here. I don't know what's there, but obviously something is holding the line back here, so I know something's in the woods. Uh, Pianity assault too deep there to get after. Pack 38 goes down to the Stu 42. Stu 42 is, uh, well, it was ground attacking a little bit. Rashita just trying to keep this from dying. It's so important. I have taken out a lot of the armor, though. Took out both those Panzer IVs, all those horses. Took out the 20 mil uh, SPW. Another one coming in, but, you know, I have done some pretty severe damage. Uh, but he ha does have his foothold over the bridge, which is obviously what he needs. Uh, so currently 1410, ticking down. Not in a great position. Not the worst, but not great. IAR coming in for a bombing run. Does miss, though. Granchetti Kaladi gets pinned. Dubla going after that IAR. Can force it back. Granchetti Kaladi already back online, though. I am falling it back to keep him from getting surrendered. Because he'll get pinned immediately and get surrendered in this situation. Punity Assault, though, pushing in. Venatori Moto as well, trying to get into this woods here. Another Pack 38 coming in. Luckily, I have lots of light AT and A phase between the Pack 38s and the 45 mils and the Bretas. Uh, so there's there's plenty of this to go around. Granchetti Kaladi does get surrendered anyway. Uh, ZB53 is able to stop the Punity Assault in their transports, and that's massive. Uh, if those guys get in the woods, I'm absolutely screwed. I do not, I mean, my multi are good, but they're not killing those things. That's for sure. Uh, Rashita going after the PNA day. Not exactly what I'm going for. Stu 42 doing a ground attack. The problem is here the Stu 42 has a very tight ground attack target circle. So it's really not actually like doing the Grilla thing where it shoots overshoots much. So Potez coming in. Hits double MG42. Great hit for me. These Potezes are fabulous. Even this lighter one with only with the 50 kilogram bombs. These these are great. They they kill things. They very consistently kill things. 50 go bombs can underperform, but in this case, there's enough of them that they don't. 45 mil finding some uh, punitive assaults behind their smoke here. That's great. Anytime I can do some damage to them, that's huge. Stu 42 doing the ground attack thing again, but it's just too far. It is cr uh, creating a little bit of suppression here for me, which is a bit of an issue. The Shitsa, though, needs to retarget on this 20 mil immediately. And it does, and it kills it. Takes two more damage, which is bad, but, you know, it didn't die, and that's huge. Multi coming in. Uh, Rashita retargeting up on this Venatori Moto here. Stu 42, now it's ground attacking over here. Still a little, I mean, it might actually catch this at this range, but we'll see. Venatori Moto into the woods. Of course, they're not the dangerous thing here. It's those Venatori Assault. No, Pianity Assault, excuse me. Uh, Granchetti Kaladi will run into them down here and get absolutely wiped. I do have a Pianity that popped out over here and was able to grab this flag, which is why we're back to a 12-12. I just have to take advantage of wherever I can. IAR, though, coming in to ruin my day here, along with the Gru Stumel here. Ouch. 
that's a nice bombing hit there. And the Stummel now as well. This is a great little half track with the, you know, the same gun, the same gun that the SPW has uh, on it. Really nice little weapon there. At 45 mil finding the Schneider here. So that's nice. This 45 mil doing a lot of work, but the Peony Assault now into the woods, and that is a big issue. Minotauri gets surrendered by the Multi. 38, uh, pack 38 in a lot of trouble. Multi there uh, getting in as well. Peony Assault gonna just... Oh, it's so bad. Amazingly doesn't get surrendered, though. I guess I fell him back in time. I'm not 100% sure why he did not get surrendered. There's no leader over here. I guess one of these units was considered close enough to not surrender. I don't know. Send the multi in, though, to hopefully, like, try to get a grenade off on this thing. But the double flamer, just so freaking strong. And he currently now has this flag as well. This peony assault coming for my 45 mil. Let's see if the 45 mil can get a shot off before the peony assault find him. Nope, we're glitching out a little bit here. Having a bit of a glitch fest. The sheets of mits, misses its shot, unfortunately for me. Still at 1311. Here are the 60 mil mortars. These things, uh, yeah, they're just I haven't been able to use them very effectively myself lately, and I'm just getting smacked around by these lately. Luckily, Breda does not go down to those though. Now he's targeting my Karadashimoto. PN80 get wiped out by the PN assault, do no damage whatsoever. God, these things are so good. So, so strong. Freaking 10-man double flamer team. Multi catching out the Venatori Moto out in the open. That's huge. More 20 mils coming, though. We're almost in B phase, which is not really a comfort for me because, of course, then we're dealing with the Maverick Giga income. Multi immediately falling it back. I want nothing to do with that. Ashita did go down finally. Uh, I think one of the Stu 42 finally, like, found it and killed it off. So that's a huge loss. I have no more heavy AT at the moment. I need to survive till uh, B phase to get my Zis 2s. 45 mil takes out one of the 20 mils, so that's really good. I needed that desperately. Got my leader here with his sniper and Panzer Shrek. Trying to keep this pack 38 alive, kind of like working him around the corner here. I do have my first 60 mil coming in, along with another 45 mil. When we get to B phase, I can start calling in my own Pianity Assaults, which I'm really hoping will solve this problem here. It will, because I get more of them and I will be able to just overwhelm him. Pianity no chance at all. Don't even get their grenade off. It's, oh my god. Double flamers, guys. Too strong. Not too strong. They're just really strong. 45 mil, though. Gets killed off, so now the horse is free to go. Uh, Breda was forced out of position by the 60 mils. Uh, ZB53 getting absolutely smacked by that horse. I'm still holding this flag down south. I am still holding this flag here. He's moving into Venatori Moto to try to recapture this and stop me from contesting those flags, because it's really keeping me alive right now. Double Breda, though, now in. There's also the Breda over here that's cap uh, catching things on the hill, on the bridge, excuse me. And now the Breda's with their triple star will open up at insane fire speeds here. <laughs> they're firing so fast, they're actually they're actually good at killing infantry. Venatori, uh, lieutenant here, bringing his sniper to bear on the Pianiti. Should do all right. Uh, Pianiti assault took some damage from the 60 mil mortar. So I am able to use that. Pack 38 gets the side shot on the Stu 42. That's massive. I needed that so bad to finally get rid of that HE support here. Multi getting caught out. Trying to move that 45 mil in to kill these freaking infantry that are now in my area. Fortunately, I'm not going to get there in time. Making a run for it. Doesn't do it. Just a 45 mil. Now we see our, my first T3045 of the game, along with the T35 Comroti. These are really solid because they're only 95 points. Like, from an efficiency standpoint, they're great. They're 15 points less. They, The, the only thing you really lose out on is the 250 meter range. Um, you know, and it's worth it. I, I would say those the 250 meter range is worth the extra points, but I don't really need it in this case. 2K is not exactly his strength. 20 mil, though, hit my Katarashi. I'm getting a little aggressive here. I am able to maybe unload that. I do unload that Venatori Moto, which is nice. Holding onto this flag barely, but it's still 1311. These PNA got crushed by my sniper here. PNA losing, of course, to the Venatori Moto at range. So I'm going to lose this flag here back to a 1311. Still holding this one pretty comfortably. AB Horse should not be able to kill my T70. I have some more PNA coming in. Katarashi have controlled this area here now. Pianity will beat the Grandichetti Kaladi, though. That's That shouldn't be too tough for them. Pianity, my own Pianity Assault finally in. And unfortunately, I still lose. <laughs> Just can't catch a break there. T3485 against the Schneider should be perfectly safe. I'm getting crits, though, on me, which is unfortunate, meaning he's not going anywhere right now. But that should go down eventually here. I have broken him down pretty well and in this push. T4 Command. 
going after oh this Kadarashi moto here t3045 now finally getting into position i've lost a lot of this zone. the problem is i can't just drive up here i don't know what's waiting for me my bread is are getting wiped out by these 60 mil mortars constantly hitting me problem is I, I don't have the points to buy artillery to counter battery them like uh, like this is holding on for dear life here i can't be using points on that you're gonna trade Kaladi, finding the venatori moto um i'm out of cover i'm in yellow cover versus green cover which is never good uh, but it is three machine guns versus two, so maybe I win this. We'll see. T-3045, finding something. Oh, the infantry. What is this guy firing at? Oh, the T-3045 up here. Okay, that's fine. That's a good fight for me at this range. Should be fine. Oh, not if I don't hit, though. Should bounce relatively consistently. Good night, Do get pinned down there. Cover, guys. It's all about cover. Take a pen. He takes a pen, too. Who's going to do it? 20 mil trying to get involved and help, but he comes up a little short. Oh, and I miss again. I'm not sure how with this many shots I'm missing at this point. And I get falled back before killing that off. 20 mil now after me. Going to keep me pinned. 60 mil going after this Venatori Moto here. I got Granjeri Kaladi to try to recapture this. Over here, Kaladashi Moto continue to hold these infantry off. This Venatori Moto just kind of putting a little pressure, but I am able to get his own smoke gave me the time to bring in some Kaladashi Moto here to... Uh, Reinforce. I have lost this flag down here. We're now at 15-9. Things are not looking great. My T-3045 continues to get pressured. I'm bringing in another because this is just not going great. Uh, this T-3045, though, in a nice position here, but the Rashitsa in this spot. I don't see this yet, and now I'm taking hits. I don't see it. I'm too busy microing probably in this position or down south to try to... Yeah, I'm trying to micro this down south to see what's going on. I took out the horse, which means my T-70 is the big dog on campus once again. 60 mil mortar coming down that 20 mil. I need it dead. My T3045 here already dead from the Rashitsa. Man, these things are so good. 60 mil mortar continues to absolutely just decimate me. But we are back to a 1410 at the moment. Let's see if my 60 mil can do the job. Kadarashi getting attacked by the Venatori Moto. Nope, my 60 mil mortar fire completely missing. Got one half decent hit there. More, another 45 coming in. I do finally have my Grana Cherry Kaladi into the woods, so they should be able to beat these at this point. Fresh T-3045 should do quite well here. Down south, my Potezes hit the infantry here. And I think I hit one other target somewhere down south. So he doesn't have any, I, I guessed he had no AA down here, and it was the right guess. He does have double peonity assault, though, in this woods, so that's going to be an issue. But I have my own double peonity assault, and mine are two-star, and his are one. So I should be able to win that uh, over the fight there. I am finally recapturing this flag a little bit. I need to take out these units that have penetrated so far in. It'll put me back to a 12-12. But now armor is pushing across the bridge, and all my AT has been killed. Uh, so this is definitely an issue. I have another T-3045 coming in, but it's the closer range one. My T-3045 finally coming out to kill these 20 mil armored cars, which have just been the bane of my existence for this entire game. Sith can really struggle with those. It's just hard to kill them. Already lost one Granda Chetty Kaladi. I'm, I'm not 100% sure how. Antonio Moto, though, will recapture this flag quite easily. Kadarashi Moto getting spotted out, going to get absolutely smacked by all this armor. There's no chance. Down south, lost my PNID. Basically did no damage to these. He does have a T4, Panzer IV coming in here, although my T70 can certainly deal with that. Still have the APCR on. Yak9B coming in. I mean, this should do a lot of damage here. He had a AA piece, but I think I killed it. At some point, he missed micro it, and I killed it. And the Yak-9B completely fails to kill anything. Really a bummer, because it wasn't really in the middle on, of the attack. Does force them off, though, and that's pretty huge. The Dubla helping to pin down some infantry here. Gotta do what I gotta do here. Maybe he moved? No, no. I did kill that, that AA piece at some point. Not sure when or how, but... Maybe the Rashitsa caught it out. Dubla is not going to do so well against that Panzer IV, though. More infantry coming in. Peonita Assault to finally clear out this forest that is causing me such an issue. Dubla is going to go down. It's unfortunate, but I have him single starred, so, you know. No, I actually have him uh, no starred, so I get six of them, so I have plenty to work with. T-3485 now on these panzers and such. Oh, just kidding. They're shooting at the infantry. 
I can sense my rage at this mistargeting. But these tanks are pretty suppressed, which means their early shots are going to miss. And he decides to throw down some smoke, which technically saves my T-3045 by all accounts here. Back down south, I have been able to clear this woods out. The double star versus single star, it's a big difference, guys. Remember, veteran C is huge. Veteran C is massive. Peonity Assault now going after his Peonity. I'm hoping my guys perform like his did. Especially if I can get the second one in here. He still, yep, doesn't get the grenade off and goes down. Hoorah for Peonity Assault. Kadadashi Moto, I decide just to drive right up and get a Panzerfaust on this tank. It's worth losing the unit for. And the Panzerfaust is off. Panzer four down. And I run. My lieutenant here also has a Panzer Shrek. So if I can get that on target, we can start thinning out some of these medium tanks, and that would be huge. But he's still on the single tick. We're coming up to the end of B phase. But he's he's pretty well secure up here. There's now there's another Dashitsa here, and this is just a big issue. I already lost the T-3045 up here to it. But I do get the Panzer Shrek on target. Another Panzer IV down. That's a nice kill for me. Really need that. More infantry coming in for me. Granancheri Kaladi catching out these Venatori Moto. Oh, no, actually, he's firing at the PNED. Just kidding. Losing his flag, though, puts me back on a 15-9. That's devastating. Stug goes down to the T-3045. Nice kill there. Need to retarget on the Panzer IV immediately. Can't do it. Down I go. So that was all my T-3045 leaders, unfortunately. Peony Assault finally in the woods here. So this wood should be safe. He doesn't really have much more CQC. Uh... You know, he's basically just got the Peonides, which are not anywhere near as good as the Peonides Assaults. Grand Chetty pinned down. He decides to retreat, though, so I'm not that upset about it. This Panzer IV is a recon, so he will spot the T-70. It's not like I'll be able to sneak kill him. And now, T-4 going to get the first shot off. Probably going to finish me, and down my T-70 goes. That is unfortunate. It was really helping me hold the line here. Thing is, I'm still very safe in the woods. There's no way he's getting me out of here. Lieutenant, with his Panzer Shrek... Does have a chance if I can get a Panzer Shrek on target on this thing would be great. Back up here, Multi trying to hold off the infantry from going any different deeper. Kadadashi Moto not going to do well here in the woods. They're basically Panzer Grins. Peony Assault looking for this infantry to finish that off. Down here, I do get the Panzer Shrek on the Panzer IV here, so that's fantastic. I needed that armor dead. And my infantry can continue to hold this flag, but it's still 1410. I have 18 minutes left. This two now in along with my fine. I'm sorry. There was one more T3045 uh, leader here. This two though should do quite well, especially against this medium axis armor. 60 mil mortar doing what it's been doing the whole time, pissing me off. And again, I, I'm just not in a position to call in counter battery stuff at the moment. Uh, you know, just hitting C phase. I'm finally unlocking my my income. Uh, but as we all know, it's probably about minute 25 or 26 where our incomes are actually equal. You know, where we've actually both gotten the same amount of points for the game. Now he's making a big push here with a whole bunch of infantry going for these flags here. Of course, I don't have much to defend with it. I've been holding on by the, the skin of my teeth so far. I have finally blunted his pushes up north. Like, he's basically done here. Uh, and I'm securing this forest. Problem is now he's making a push into this flag as well. This two now covering off the road. Interesting. Usual line of sight tool problems. But my Kadadashi Moto, he's pinning all these troops down. He's got them a little bit too bunched up. Putting my lieutenant here in a, in a pretty dangerous position, but I, I'm assuming there's more armor coming through. That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, so yeah. Granjetti Kaladi coming in. I'm using these because they're cheap. They're only 20 points. They're very efficient. T4 getting hit by the combo here. It will go down quite easily. So killing off this medium armor. Big for me. Really big. I do finally lose my lieutenant champion here. It's a bummer. Panzer IV swinging down south though. Bring in Multi and some T70. Try to defend myself. Another T3045. 1944 coming in. Smoke comes down to cut off my AT gun. Multi get their grenade off. Easily finish off the Venatori Moto. Multi, very strong I, uh, with the grenades. I mean, again, they're basically Panzergren's MG34s with a grenade. I mean, hard to beat. Uh, basically hybrid infantry for all intents and purposes. Multi trying to get by. They do sneak into the town, so I do have a little bit more defense. 60 mil coming down for that uh, machine gun, but it's already dead. Armor moving into position here just to try to, like, hold both areas. So if this Panzer IV drives across, I can kind of, like, catch it there and still cover the road. 
He's got these planes just flying around. IAR killed off some of my PNND assault, so I don't really have much anymore. Dubla now coming in. Yak 9B, though, coming in for that Panzer IV. No, well, there's the SDK of Z71, unfortunately, so. Easily forced out. These Yak 9Bs are very easy to stop. They're very easy to shoot down, too. Any good piece of AA will be able to kill these by itself, and, it, and he does. Multi, though, beating the Venatori Moto along with the help of the T-3485. So really nice there. My T-70 up against the Panzer IV. Hoping I can pick up a win here, but complete whiff. Ugh, why? Now the Multi getting pinned by the Panzer IV. Panzer IV, a great support tank. It's got the double MG... No, yeah, the double MG-34 and stuff. It can do quite good work on supporting your infantry. T-3485, though, taking a pen from the Rashitsa. I do spot these mortars, and I don't even care. I'm just leaving. The Rashitsa fell back because the multi were standing here. So I'm just standing here desperately trying to kill these 60mm mortars off. I can't take them anymore. My multi looks like they're going to finish the MG-34 off, but of course, 60mm ruins that. Do kill off one of them. Couldn't be more excited. Infantry getting pinned down here. I'm going to lose this flag. Still 13-11 for him. I got 15 minutes left. But things are collapsing here. This is bad. Like, he's going to get this flag. He'll probably get this flag. Like, I'm, I'm on the ropes here. T-3045 finishes off the second 60 mil. Miracle. He's a little aggressive. More Panzer IVs coming in. There's already more armor coming in here. More T-4s as well. T-3045 commander, leader. Well, I must have severely miscounted. There were way more of these than I thought. Panzer IV takes a pen, though. Really need this to finish that off. His two-star Panzer IV is going to fire a lot faster. It does go down, though, so finally kill that off, but this other T-4 moving in. Potez does get his bombs off on the Rashita. Fantastic. Needed that dead really bad so I could, like, move onto this island. And really, he's actually got nothing here. So I'm actually going to get this flag for free. Pretty pumped about that. Did not expect that from the situation. Stug 3 on the... On the uh, Bridge here went down to my T-3045. T-3485 getting a nice pen here on the Stu-42. But I did lose my T-3485 here, so this T-4 free to roam. Let's see if he can finish off this 242 Misses. Oh, just kidding. It didn't miss? I don't know what happened there. Maybe the Zis? Maybe the Zis got it. I think the Zis might have got it. But now he's capturing this flag as well. T-3045 can't see this T-4 apparently. Because, yeah, he's on attack move. He's not doing anything. So I clearly can't see this. So he's going to get another shot off and finish my T-3045 off. Oh, that hurt. Calling in my first piece of arty. I'm going to pull up classic attack power and let it sit there. <laughs> do what I often do. Colin, these artillery pieces are incredibly good. Uh, eight rounds a minute. You bring them in at one vet. They fire ten rounds a minute. They're disgusting. They're, they're And they're pretty accurate. And they have radio. They're one of the best arty pieces in the game, in my opinion. My uh, leader here, not sure what my plan is with this thing. I I'm running him out of this forest because I lost all my, my units here. My Gnanchetti Kaladi finally moving forward to try to help. And I do have more PNAD assault coming in. He's making a little push across the bridge, testing my defenses here, but I have plenty. There's no way he's driving light armor across. Unfortunately, my lieutenant here runs into a PNAD. I'm not watching. The grenade gets off. He will die. Uh, the Shitsa, though, getting caught out by my multi. I lost another T-3485 here to the Shitsa. This too, though. Gonna catch out that SDK of Zed. Woo! Hoorah! And he's lost a lot of stuff here. This has been a meat grinder for him. I shouldn't even say meat. It's been an armor grinder for him. A metal grinder. Because I've eaten up a lot of armor in this position. Have gotten a Moti back in here. T4 did go down to, I believe, this T7, uh, the T70 here. Back to a 13 level. I still have 11 minutes left, though. But he continues to pour across. I mean, I don't have that many units. Like, we're, you know, I feel like I'm trading pretty well, but I'm still pretty much on the back foot. And now we are finally getting equal income. So, like, we are finally at the point where we both have received the same amount of, it, of points. And he's just pouring in still. IR coming in for my Zis 2. Looks like he missed, but it doesn't actually miss. Yeah. I hate when it does that. It, it puts it, like, way behind, but it's actually perfectly on target. So losing that SIS-2 really sucks. I do have an 88 now coming in to kind of just do dual job. Hold this line, hold this road, and shoot down planes. And it's now a 16-8 with the loss of this center. Back to a double tick, and I lost this flag here. Uh, emergency. We're in desperation mode now. 
because now I only have five minutes left. Multi coming in, give me back the 15-9, trying to get back in here. Multi should beat these guys, although I'm uh, I'm deploying a little bit aggressively. Didn't think the P90 moved up this far. Venituri Dakota does get its Panzer Shrek off on that transport, so happy dappy day for me there. I do have this flag up north. Need to try to get back into this one. Still a 16-8. Multi, unloading, unloading. I do get it unloaded. He unloads in the house, though, with this P90. Based on the numbers, I should win, but I have no veterancy, and he has veterancy, and that is all the difference. Schneider gets a hold of my T-70. That's a bummer. Grenade goes off on top of the multi there. I don't really take much damage, which is kind of weird. I'm trying to chase him down and get my grenades off. I do get it off, going after the Venatori Moto here. Oh, transport down to the Schneider. That hurts. Do pin the Venatori Molto down with the grenade. Coming in to get her to this flag. Back to a 14, 13, 11. Able to grab this flag over the bridge. My Punity Assaults are moving in. My Grenade Colati can clear these guys out. It's another T-70. I got more multi in here as well. Starting to build the momentum a little bit. Infantry go down here and I lose this forward position. That's a big loss. But I finally clear out these infantry here. But the double Panzer IV going to be an issue. My Grenade Colati getting spotted out from behind. Uh, no AT right now. Yak-9B, though, gonna go after Potez. Finding some Pianity here. Do miss the bombing strike, though. That's unfortunate. Must have lost sight of him. Yak-9B, I mean, I have I have line of sight on this thing. Should be able to land a good hit. Still doesn't kill this Panzer IV. This cluster bomber is failing me miserably. And now, it wasn't even suppressed. Like, basically no suppression. And I still couldn't kill it. And unfortunately, the Moti, as great as they are, don't have AT capability. Flak 36 is now in position. Minotone and Dakota do have a grenade as well. Something important to remember for these forest fights. I do finally recapture this flag moving forward. These infantry uh, Moti grabbing this one, but that's not a very strong hold. Those Minotone Dakota, uh, Minotone Moto here will win that. Another Rashita covering off this bridge. And I do finally recapture this flag here. But now it's only seven minutes left. That double tick absolutely crushed some of my time. As these Panzer IVs continue to hold weird salience all over the map. Yak-9B again, it's the only thing I can call in immediately. To like, fix this problem right now. And I know he's very far from his AA, so I know that I can get away with this. Let's see if this time we can get the kill. Still no kill. They're just like, not in the mi I don't know why my Yak-9Bs are not killing tanks. They're like, missing. Very frustrating. I'm like, seething at the mouth right now. Potez going after that Rashitsa. This one a little deep though, but the bombs still get off. And miss, so it, it's going to live. Moti do not get the grenade off though. Artillery still hasn't fired, believe me, noted. That's why I can say when people don't use it, I understand. Why I, I, the, the pot calling the kettle black. My Kalati barely holding on here. My multi getting pinned down by the Panzer IV. Gonna get surrendered. Ugh. And once my Grenada Chetty Kalati here go down, I'm gonna lose this, this flag as well. Although I do have this area very much secured. This is mine now. This is now mine. These Panzer will have no chance. But this center area, I'm just struggling. With the double Panzer IV here, it's very dangerous to just call in tanks. I'm trying to bring one in to try to clear some of this out. My flak is trying to move forward to get some line on this open ground here. But it's so darn slow. We're back to a 15-9. I have two minutes, three minutes left. Recapture this. I need to stay out of line of sight of this Panzer IV. Kanadashi, spot in the Venatori. Throwing down some 60 mil on top of it as well. Rashitsa, though, activating back there. My Grenadier Kalari are able to beat the weakened Venatori here. Still holding on desperately that 14-10. Did lose this flag now as well, though. I did put the Zis 2 here in preparation for some sort of big assault. It does not come. My Flak 36 finally finds that Panzer IV, takes that down, which means this flag is relatively safe for the moment. My Kanadashi do manage to help pin this down. Uh, need, gonna need to fall that back at some point soon, or it's just gonna die. Another Stug 3 in. Flak 36 finding that MG42. This is not a good fight, though. I am forced to fall the Granachetti back, because that MG42 is coming for me. He does get a unit up into this area here. Panzer IV going after my T-3045. A 45 mil does spot that infantry. Let's see if we can kill that Panzer IV. Do get that four. Who, if he had gotten in, that would have been bad. Although the Breda probably could have taken that out pretty easily. Uh, he's in the woods, but he's running. He's going to run into my P&D assault, and we've seen clearly several times how that turns out. 
Boom, boom. Yeah, just so good. Now, the second one, though, is going to be an issue. Although I still managed to stop him, the second one does get the grenade off. My PD assault is going to go down there. I do have the multi, though. They'll be able to stop that just fine. IRD017 coming in. Uh, these Venatori Moto out of their area now. I are going, trying to go after these multi here. Do get some more into this position here, finally. Again, 88, though, too far away to really affect. IR doesn't drop its bombs. I guess he... I don't know what he was doing, honestly. Was it a ground attack, or was he a targeting? Flak 36 misses its shot on the TA. I mean, of course, it's very suppressed, so it's not surprising. Still 1410, though. I lost this flag now. Do wipe out those Pyrenity. I have three and a half minutes here, and I, I'm not close to winning yet. I thought there was more, based on the way this salient is shaped, I figured there was more stuff in here. Clearly, you can see now there was not. Bombs finally get off. Bigger bomber here, JRS. My multi is still alive, but now I'm going to lose this flag. 15-9 again. Oh my god. No. No, no, no. I need to capture something. Of course, my trades at this point haven't been great because I'm just kind of throwing things at problems to try to, like, get flags back. Darn the, darn the losses. And eventually here, the plan is going to be to push out here to maybe try to grab this flag. He does have a whole bunch of AA down here, though. I guess he, that one bombing strike I sent down there was too annoying for him. 60 mil mortar trying to hit that Venatori again. Infantry, T-3045 coming in here. I need to get back into this little town here and capture this flag. Still 59. I have 50 seconds left. Things are looking bleak, and it's so frustrating. We're 15 minutes into C-Phase here. I mean, I should be winning at this point. Um, yeah, it's just so hard to capture flags. Uh, of course, recapturing them shouldn't be this difficult. Potez, I moved him in because I tried to move the Grenache out. MG-34 blocked me. I went to try to kill that. Of course, that failed miserably. This Hotchkiss, I'm not sure what his plan was here. He, he's tried this before with more capable units, and then he died. So I'm fine to get a free Hotchkiss kill there. Uh, Flak 36, spot in the TA, along with the T-3485, I would assume. Gets the bounce and takes that out easily. Big kill there for me. Now pinned down the Venatori, capturing this flag back. I have 30 seconds. It is 1410. Reinforcements coming in for this hill. I need to I need to capture something. I see the salient. Now to a 1311. Pushing forward, grab this flag down here, brought it to a 1212. Still in this. Still in this. T70 now in, going after this 25 mil. I need to try to kill off the AA so I can go bomb these things. The T70, those should be in good shape, but a T4 now coming in to ruin my party. Potez coming in. I thought there was only one AA, but there's actually two. So even though this 25 is basically pinned down, he still blocks the bombing strike. Uh, bombs coming in for these infantry, but they survive. Multi driving in. He's back to a 1311. I have 13 seconds left. 12. Uh, Venatori Moto here go down. Karadashi moving forward to try to clear out this stuff here. Multi push across five, four, three, two, one. It is zero. It's 12 12. No, oh, the flag up here is captured. There's nothing. There's nothing here. This game was over. I literally said GG to him like 10 seconds ago. I thought the game was done. His 37 mil pushing to try to capture this flag, but now is going to die in that sacrificial push. He needs one second, but it is finally 1311. I have a flag to lose. The T4 getting hit by my T70 goes down to the T70. What a kill. My double multi crushing his peonity. Even with the Rashitsa supporting here, they are able to capture that and push it back. I'm now able to recapture this flag here as well with my multi. Still a 12-12 though. I lost this flag in here to all this light armor and machine guns. Pota's coming in again. Making a, like, third strike to kill this freaking MG-34. I finally get the bombs off. Will it kill the MG-34? It does. That's huge. My infantry can now push out here. Up north. IAR trying to save the flag. All my stuff is pinned. I have this flag I'm pushing forward to make sure I hold it. Karadashi Moto moving forward as well. It's still 12-12. I lose a flag for one second and this game is over. If I lose any flag for one second, I lose this game. I cannot suffer to lose anything, and he's still on the edge right here is a flag on the edge. Multi pushing across. I know he's got stuff in here. I need to kill it. I need to kill it. Now, kill that Rashidza and capture another flag. Gives me a little bit more wiggle room. More tanks coming in, though, for him. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my God. There's no points here. There are no tickets. 
His Venatori Molta finally pinned by my Katarashi here. The problem is the Katarashi, of course, do not actually grab ground. I have this Katarashi Molta that I will be moving forward soon enough. He has recaptured the flag in this town here. T3045 moving forward, infantry pushing forward. He did grab this for a moment, but because of this extra flag up north, I was able to survive back to a 1311. The Gru Stumal did take out my T70 here, so I lost my armor support. I do have plenty of infantry in here, though. None of them are AT capable. Has some more Moti coming in. Oh! <sighs> Hotez floating around here. Did not put the re uh, evac order on him. Uh, currently have this flag for free. I won't hold long, but even once I lose these two, it's back to a 12-12. Because I have this flag down here, and he's holding this one. So I got to get back in here. Kadadashi moving forward. Try to clear out whatever's in here, along with this Granadashi Kaladi. More Granadashi Kaladi coming in now. Oh, my freaking God. Holding on. I'm telling you guys, one second anywhere, and the game is still over. It's back to a 12-12. This is not, by no means do I feel comfortable yet. I mean, anything falls, like if I miss one thing, he could sneak into a flag and capture it. Multi pushing forward now down here. I'm just trying to find holes to capture a flag. And again, I gotta go deep to find them. Should be put, I don't wanna push this forward. I'm afraid of AT. If I lose this, I could lose my whole hold on this area. Multi zipping in to find this MG42. Do get all the good stuff on there. Unfortunately, I actually threw a grenade into the unit, the building my unit just moved into. So not my not my finest moment there. Kadarashi finding the Schneider. If I kill that, I should capture this. Kadarashi Multi moving across here now. Finally recaptured this town. 1410 now. I'm getting more and more wiggle room. He's now forced to throw stuff at things to try to kill things. Uh, try to get that ticket that one singular point he needs. This 45 mil is incapable of landing a hit right now. JRS doing some okay damage. It will go down. Yak 9B though, will they finally get a kill? He does capture this flag though. Oh my god, why? I feel like if you get a, a cluster plane over top of a tank without getting suppressed, you deserve the kill. Multi though, finding the MG34 out in the open does pin it down. That's huge. Will give me this flag down here, hopefully. And finally, a 15-9 for me. Starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. As my defense is now thicken up on all of my flags. MG34 goes down, down south. He doesn't have much left down here. Potez missed its target, so now it's just floating around. And he finally surrenders. Holy crap. 40 minutes on Gora here 4265 kills to 3345 kills so i did trade quite well um oh my god what a game i don't think i've ever seen anything closer it was literally like half a second left before that game was done oh my goodness gracious let's see here the sheets are doing okay potez doing all right uh t3485 Kumroti. all right that did okay 45 mil picking up some stuff is this two here this was the one covering the road this one was huge Man, that did quite, quite, quite well. Another Potez doing all right there. Flak 36 got some nice kills as well. T70 pulling off some miracles. Yeah. On the other side, losses here. The Peony Assault, just really strong. 60 mil mortar doing a lot of damage there as well. Uh, some T4s, SDKFZ getting some kills there. Another T4 doing all right. Oh, that's it though. So yeah, what a freaking game. And if you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon. Thanks a bunch and have a fantastic day.